subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you can watch our latest videos at very first hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share a interview experience of accenture so yeah it's a very long time i haven't shared any interview experiences so today's i'm going to share an interview experience of accenture the accenture interview experience is quite different from other companies interview experience so yeah for the deep learning and understanding you have to go through this video until the last so without wasting any further time let's start with the accenture interview experience so yeah the accenture interview experience is based on four round the first round is cognitive and technical assessment the second one is coding assessment third one is communication assessment and the last one is final interview so let's go through each and every rounds in detail so the first round is cognitive and technical assessment so yeah this section is last for 90 minute and it is of mcq type which is quite easy to medium level so there are many sections included in it the first section is english ability so this section basically going to check your command in english communication and also english grammar itself apart from this the second type is critical reasoning in the critical reasoning part they give some critical question based on reasoning and you have to solve all the questions or whatever you want to solve the third one is problem solving so uh, some problem solving questions are also there so for the problem solving part you have to go through uh, gfg website in gfg website there are many type of problem solving questions are available apart from this abstract reasoning also included in this section pseudo code also included in this section in pseudo code what happens is basically they have given a code and what you have to do is you have to just debug it you have to find bug on that code so this is basically a pseudo code is is the pseudo code is correct or not apart from this the last part is network security so they are going to ask some question based on network security also uh, subject which is called computer networks are available in IT and CS branch so for the deep understanding of network security you have to go through that subject for the deep understanding of problem solving you can go through DSA part also so let's go to the round number two so round number two is coding assessment the time duration for the coding assessment is 45 minutes and there are two medium level questions so for the sake of completion of these medium level question you have three important skills the first one is basic idea of syntax on your preferred programming language suppose that your preferred programming language is java or c plus plus or python so you have a basic understanding of each and every topics of pythons uh, java c plus plus in a core level and also you have a basic understanding of its syntax also Apart from this, you have to be proficient in programming skills also. Apart from programming skills, you have a good logical ability also. So for developing programming skills, for developing logical ability, you have to solve maximum to maximum question uh, in a competitive environment. And you can go through GFG website, you can go through HackerRank website and other stuffs. So yeah, let's go to the round number three. So round number three is communication assessment. This round is basically going to check your communication skills. If you have a good communication skill, then only you are going to crack this interview. So the first part is reading and listening part. There are eight question in reading part and there are 16 question in the listening part. Apart from this, a question and answer based section also available there. And in the question and answer, there are basically 24 questions. Apart from this, there are jumbled sentence type question. Uh, the number of jumbled sentence type question are approx 10. You have solved jumbled sentence type question in your 9, 10, 11, 12 also. Apart from this, there is a storytelling and a speaking type of question. In storytelling, uh, stories are given and based on that story or questions are given, you have to answer that questions. And finally, uh, speaking, you have to speak on some particular topic which they are willing to give so this is a whole scenario of your communication assessment checking so if you crack this round then you're definitely going to crack the final round because the final round is quite easier round 
सो लेट्स गो थ्रू द फाइनल राउंड सो द फाइनल राउंड इज टेक्निकल एंड एच आर राउंड यू ऑल आर अवेयर दैट द टेक्निकल एंड एच आर राउंड इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी मच हार्ड राउंड बट particularly for the essential part the technical and hr round is not on that level so the first question is tell me about yourself so you have to tell about yourself in a precise manner and what they are going to do they are going to ask some question based on your introduction apart from this they are going to ask you about your final year project so if you are in final year you are surely doing of your project so you have to explain that project if you are in third year right now and uh, a century is going to arrive in upcoming 4 to 5 month so you have to tell about your minor project apart from this there are some project related questions so you have to be prepared for these type of question because project related question is very much important question and if you have done any internship then damn sure they are going to ask some question on internships also apart from this there are some behavioral questions and some uh, company related question why do you want to join our organization why do you, we had you where do you see yourself in 5 years this type of question they are basically going to ask in behavioral and technical and hr type of questions so yeah that's it for this video guys if this video is really important for you please like and share this video apart from this i have created a video on accenture also so if you are going for a accenture you have to go through that video also because that video give you a precise idea about accenture company so yeah i am going to share the link of that video in the description box of this video so yeah i am wrapping this video over here and we will meet next time mm -hmm.